sound check here. Quick sound check, quick sound check. Alright, sounds good to me. <coughs> okay, so welcome everybody. Uh, so tonight's just going to be a quick one. We're just going to play one game um, against the Mega Man X inspired Rock City Mavericks team. This is going to be the first game of the regular season. Um, so <coughs> anybody that's new to this, um, I do these kind of crazy unlock conditions <coughs> where if we win different games in different ways, we can unlock uh, new players to make our team better. Um, so this is going to be a little bit complicated, but the easiest way to do it is to just draw a random card, which is I know what I have to do for this team. Um, and we're going to draw a random playing card, and then I'll, I'll kind of walk you through what it's going to mean. All right, so I just used this website to draw a random card, and we got the three of diamonds. <coughs> All right, so a three of diamonds. Oh, wow. <coughs> so this is good. So a three is a first baseman, uh, so that's Spark Mandrel. Spark Mandrel on their team is really good. He's a super solid player. <coughs> and red, um, uh, actually, yeah, more, less favorable. Okay, so red three isn't as good as a black three. <clears throat> but we'll see how it goes. Uh, so what red means um, is that a red three means that <clears throat> we have to chain together kind of four bosses in a row, basically, um, which is going to mean uh, a strikeout. <clears throat> so we're going to have to strike out like four of these players kind of in a row. Um, and if we do that, so if we kind of strike out four in a chain Around this Spark Mandrel character, um, we're going to be able to unlock him. However, if Spark Mandrel uh, gets a hit, walks, like gets on base, and we lose, we're going to lose our first baseman, which is Scizor. Scizor is our current first baseman. So basically, we're playing this game for Spark Mandrel. If we play well, um, we might be able to unlock him. Um, and if we lose and he gets on base which he's a good hitter so we probably will uh we're gonna lose our first baseman scissor so let's get into it <clears throat> and again i'll kind of like be reintroducing and talking about it as as we go but um anybody that watches this thank you for bearing with me on this second stream the first one was was really rough um the settings were made it super choppy so hopefully i've kind of gotten into a better place this time and uh, we should be good to go. Just wanted to quickly show you how bad our team is. <coughs> so we are, I think, ranked 30th. We're dead last. <coughs> and most of our positions, other than starting pitching, are kind of completely bottom of the barrel. <laughs> so we really need to start winning some games and meeting these unlock conditions to, to pick up players. So fingers crossed. <coughs> All right. So our starting pitcher tonight, I think, is going to be our ace. <clears throat> who is Twin Mold. He's our, by far, best starting pitcher. Uh, I always do Overcast. We'll do the show theme hybrid. <clears throat> yeah, so Twin Mold is our starter. Their starter is Crystal Snail. Um, yep, and we're going to get into it. <clears throat> so I'm going to keep flashing back and forth a little bit to this little picture. I'm trying to remember. So we got to kind of try to strike out their center fielder, Spark Mandrel, Armadillo, and Centipede. That would be great. So strike out their center fielder, I think their right fielder, first baseman, and catcher. But let's see. We'll see how it goes. All right. So... The name of the game is going to be trying to <coughs> stri string together strikeouts <coughs> and not lose. All right, so Bunnyhood, my center fielder, he's <coughs> really fast and a good bunter, so we're going to see if we can get cheeky. Not a good way to start the game. <laughs> Little pop-out drag bunt there. 
but Bunny Hood gets on base like nobody else using that drag butt strategy. All right, so Han Solo, one of our better players. Uh, he's playing shortstop, I think, tonight. <clears throat> Takes that heater up and away for ball one. <clears throat> yeah, Han Solo is our, our kind of only, like, A-tier um, solid infielder. <clears throat> That's a strike. <coughs> so Crystal Snell is your starter. He has um, a lot of good velocity differences. Uh, so his fastball is real crisp, 98, 9900, and his changeup is going to drop significantly velocity. He's got a, a good mix of pitches. He's a good pitcher. All right, a little late on that 100 mile an hour fastball. <coughs> So count now even at twos for Han Solo here. That might be a gapper. Uh, nope. <coughs> Little flare to the left fielder. <coughs> kind of too much. Sorry for the coughing. All right, so Henry Bird is up next. Ooh. 73 mile an hour knuckleball after all those 100 mile an hour fastballs. Way ahead of it for... Strike one. Ooh, waited on that one. It's still very early on that low knuckleball. I'm expecting a heater here. Let's see what happens. Not at all. Another knuckleball. Wow. <coughs> Three knuckleballs in a row. Interesting strategy. All right, so the 0-2 count. Man. Four knuckleballs in a row after not a single one in the first couple batters. We're at 0 and 2 here to Henry Bird. Man, fighting off those knuckleballs. Henry Bird, for those of you who don't know, there's a great British Bake Off team. And Henry Bird is our pickup from, from that squad. Oh, man. A little disappointed in myself for not being on any of these six knuckleballs yet. Expecting something else soon. All right, there you go. There's a 99 mile an hour fastball up and in. <coughs> so count now one and two. It's been a good at bat now for Henry. <coughs> Let's get a hit. All right, sat on that knuckleball. I'm seeing that well at least. A little bit late actually on that one, so saw it a little, little too well. <coughs> so count stays one and two. All right, good eye there. Change up inside, 85 miles an hour. So, yeah, pitch in the 70s, pitch in the 80s, pitch at 100. It's tough. A lot of speed differences. Oh, crushed that ball. <coughs> but early. Play on Hall of Fame difficulty, so I find that to be the most fun. I feel like Legend, Legend is a little bit too quick. Oh, good eye there. <laughs> For Hall of Fame, I feel like I feel like if you play it enough, it's it's still fun. All right, so count even to Henry Bird. Oof, man, quite the at bat. This is the 13th pitch of the at bat coming up, so we're making Crystal Snail work a little bit this inning, which is good. He's a really good starter. Wow, 14th pitch of the at bat coming up here. Let's go, Henry. Ah, it finally blows the heat by me. <clears throat> but hey, not a bad at bat there. Okay, so Twin Mold is up. <clears throat> Basically, we, we want to strike out as many people as we can. So that's going to be the dream, is we just get a bunch of strikeouts. Um, that's not going to do it. Be careful not to dive with people, because they're going to get injured. Okay, so Spark Mandrel, so we need to strike him out if we want to get him. So that's kind of step one. Um, like, it doesn't really matter who else we strike out. If we don't strike him out, we can't get him. Again, he's their first baseman. He is really, really good. So he would be one heck of a pickup. <sighs> Fall behind in the count, 3-0. and All right, I'm going to go sinker, get me over a little bit. Okay. Got a chance here. I'm going to go split, low and away. Come on, strike three. Strike three. Ah. <clears throat> All right. 
Well, first opportunity gone. All right, so now runners on first and second. Um, so, you know, sometimes they're going to sub in real players. So this is Edwin Encarnacion. Um, can't really control that. Do our best to make it, like, immersive as possible. Um, but it looks like they subbed out. I don't know who their third baseman was. Is he playing third or some DH? He's playing first. Oh, interesting. So maybe they're having a Mandrel DH. <coughs> All right. So two and two count. So let's go split. Low and away. Strike three. All right. So strike out there, but it's not a strikeout against um, one of their kind of crucial players. Of course, this happens. Of course, this happens during the stream. It looks like the game froze. Well, at least hopefully the stream hasn't been choppy thus far. Um, so, I'm gonna have to reboot. What a, what a way to start, huh? <laughs> Alright, so let me just quickly pause this. Reboot the game. Sorry, everybody, about this. This is what happens, you know? This is real life. Sometimes your games don't work. <coughs> so we'll get the game started up again. Skip all the intro stuff. We already know what, what we're playing for. So at least we got that going for us. And we'll get right back into it as fast as we can. All right, all right. Do, 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 do. Reconnect to remote play. Almost back, almost back. So anybody jumping on? <clears throat> Just had a little bit of a technical issue. The game crashed. So trying to load it back in. So hopefully back up soon. <coughs> Doing a quick reboot. So we have to sim now to the regular season real quick, and <coughs> I think I have to fix some lineups, but I'll just be able to do that quick here. I <coughs> know uh, it looks good. Just switch Bunny Hood there. Gonna make Henry our third baseman. Otherwise, though, looking fine. So let's get into the game. Okay. So a little bit of a reboot there, but you know, sometimes that's what happens, right? Sometimes that's what happens. So, get another chance. <laughs> another chance at that first inning. I'll take it. Alright, we're going to try the same thing. Bunny hood, cheeky bun. Oh yeah, same thing, different result. Looking better already. 
Alright, so Bunny Hood, that's what he does. He gets on base with those drag bunts. Now we got a runner on, so Snail's going to have to work a little bit harder this inning. <laughs> um, going to try to get ahead in the count before I send him. Or way behind. So like two strikes or three balls, I'll probably send him. Because, um, yeah, <clears throat> drawing first blood would be great. Oh, you know what? Sorry. Got to get back to full screen. There we go. Drawing first blood would be great. Ooh. All right. Tried to let that high knuckleball fly, but alas. All right, so the count out even at ones to Han. They do a pitch out there. All right, so two balls now. So if we get one more ball or one more strike, uh, I will probably send Bunny Hood. He's fast and good at stealing. Oh, base hit for Han. I am not going to go first to third because I think he's got a cannon. Yep, we've been thrown out. <clears throat> but hey, great start to the game. Lead off back-to-back -back singles. Paving the way for Henry Bird. We had a great at-bat against Snail in the game that we had to just restart. Takes strike one for ball one there. Uh, not a good call by the ump. So count now 1-0 and in our favor. Ooh, a little bit late, I think, on that fastball. Yep. That was a good pitch to hit. Just a tad late. <clears throat> hit on that sinker, too. <laughs> All right, so the count now 1-2 and two to Henry. Got runners on. First and second, no outs. Stay alive with that pitch. Very early, but just tapped it. Counts to one and two. And staying alive. 101 mile an hour fastball that we foul off. <clears throat> so count now one and two. Oof. Staying alive. That knuckleball, I think, would have snuck in there. That was a tough pitch to swing at, but did a good job recognizing it there. Ah, early on that knuckleball. Okay. So here comes Stitch. He's our left fielder. Ooh, that felt good to me. It was just a little bit late on that knuckleball. Stitch is, I think, a little bit better against righties. Also felt pretty good. Uh, Stitch is a little bit better against righties, but you know, right now with this team, we're just doing what we can, using whoever we got. Ugh. Yeah. So that's the the tough thing about starting these seasons the way that we do is we start off real bad. Um, so we gotta win some games. Gotta get some better players. Oh, that is a deep drive. Come on, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. That is, wow, that is one heck of a way to start. Yuvigin has pop in his bat. He is not very good contact, but a three-run home run on that knuckleball. See, the, no, no rotation there. Three-run home run on a knuckleball at the top of the first inning. That is great. So I'm just going to quickly show you here um, that that was an extra base hit against their pitcher, Crystal Snail. So he is somewhere on here. Uh, yeah. Oh, awesome. So extra base hit against Snail. That's one in the chain. So we got to get four of these in a row around Spark Mandrill, but that was number one. So we got to strike out Mandrill, Armadillo, um, and Centipede, and we could potentially uh, get Spark Mandrill this game, which would be really good. All right. So Scizor is up next. <clears throat> He's our first baseman right now. Recognizing that knuckleball, that was an early swing. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to be able to jump on that knuckleball. So I'm basically trying to sit fastball and then, yeah, like that. Perfect. So sit fastball and then recognize the knuckleball when it comes in. I think I have enough time and I can belt it. <clears throat> it's going to be like the change up that I think is the hardest for me. A 
the ball up and away. That was good timing at least, but just drifted a little outside. Ah, okay. I am going to send the runner here. Why not? Oh, they might have got him. Oof, okay. Just back, just back. All right, I am going to get one more pitch and then send the runner again. Ah, okay. All right, but Yuvigin draws big first blood with that three-run shot. Poking that knuckleball the other way. That was a great hit. Okay. All right, so... Let's try to strike out Crab for good measure. Probably staying mostly low in the zone. Oof, with Twin Mold. Uh, if I get two strikes, I might try to sneak like an up and away fastball. There we go. All right, that running fastball, though, is only 94 miles an hour. So I got to rely more on locating with Twin Mold. All right, so Mandrel, we need to strike him out. One. Okay, going away. All right, let's go back to heater up and in. I'm going to let that go. I'm going to let that go foul because we want to strike him out. I know it's a controversial call there. Let's go split her down and away. Okay, I'm going to go sinker low and away, and then I'm going to go back to an up and in heater. Oh, oh my gosh. What a start to this game. All right, so we've now changed two together. Just as a reminder, I'll show you that real quick. So we have chained these, so we've chained these two together. So striking out position players or getting extra base hits on pitchers is how you do it. So this is the order that we did, that we're following. So we chained Snail with that home run that we hit off of him in the first, and now we just struck out Mandrill. So all we have to do to get Mandrill is now strike out Armadillo, who should be their catcher. Um, and then if Boomer Kuwanger or uh, Neon Tiger, who actually can't be in the game because he's on our team. So if Boomer Kuwanger somehow comes in the game later, that would be possible. Or we could strike out Centipede. So if we strike out Centipede, um, yeah, or Stag, actually, Centipede and Stag. There's, there's different ways we can do it. But Armadillo, we got to strike out. We got to aim for Centipede. And then we'd get Mandrill if we win the game. So a little bit complicated, but I create all these rules to make it more fun. Okay, so who is up next? I think this is Edwin Encarnacion again, yep. All right, so he's gonna foul off that sinker for strike one. All right, we're gonna go fastball up and in. Crushes it down the line. Gotta be careful with those up and in heaters. We're gonna go split low and away, sit down, ooh. Crushes it deep, deep, deep to left center field. We're going to jump for it. Oh, that felt well timed. I think that was close. I think I was close to catching that. Let's see. I want to watch the replay. Oh, that looked good. I felt like I timed that well. All right, so this is Vile, their left fielder. Oof, he is formidable, but that is going to be a harmless little fly out to left center field. Bunny runs it down, and we are good. All right, so up next we got Gold Dundee. He's our pickup from the Scranton Showman team. Ooh, recognize the knuckleball there. <clears throat> but just foul it off. So the count now 0 oh 1. That's inside. All right, count even at once. <clears throat> Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, 99 mile an hour heat. Can't catch up to it. So count goes to 1 and 2 to our boy Gold Dundee. Ooh, fouls off that knuckleball. I'm going to do one quick sound check here.
just want to make sure every once in a while. Relatively new to the streaming game, so don't want to just be silently streaming. All right, so count one and two to Gold Dundee here. Uh, Chase is on the low and in heat. All right. <clears throat> so Koopa Troopa is up. He is RDH because we don't really have anybody else that we can put in that position. He's not the best hitter, um, but he's also not the best fielder. So hence DH. Got decent pop, as you can see there, 67 against lefties. Oof, that knuckleball moved a lot. <clears throat> but fortunately, Dance is inside, so the count now even at ones. Also inside. <clears throat> count goes to two and one now to Koopa Troopa. Crystal Snail looks in, deals. Ooh, heater low and away. Might have been a ball, but pretty close, so okay with the swing there. <clears throat> Counting out even at twos. Ah, all right. Recognize the knuckleball, but a strikeout nonetheless. All right, so bunny, I'm going to swing the bat here. I'm not going to bunt. I'm going to try to swing the bat. All right, so the count is 1-0 and now to Bunny Hood. He's decent against lefties, so I, I kind of want to give him a chance against lefties. Extra base hit would be great here. <clears throat> yeah, 62 contact against lefties. He's really bad against righties, so we're pretty much always going to drag Bunt with righties. But that's why you do it. That's why you do it. See, that's going to put him on at least second base. I'm going to keep him at second, but hey. Extra base hit as opposed to just a just a bunt single there. It's a bunny two for two with that bunt single in the first and now a double to right center field. Paving the way for Han Solo with a runner in scoring position. Oh. Recognize the knuckleball there, but still early. Count now 0-1 to our boy Han. Oh, way ahead of that changeup. Yeah, I think the changeup is going to be the hardest one to recognize for me because I'm going to treat it like a fastball because I'm going to recognize it not as a knuckleball. Uh, but that's a hard one to, to, to judge. Ooh. All right, saw the heater up and in there. <clears throat> so count now one and two. Bunny Hood is on second base. Ooh, just got that fastball there. Very late on it. Foul it off. Count goes one and two. He's already thrown 38 pitches through the second, so we're, we're making him work. Good eye, good eye. Recognize the knuckleball, but it looked real high the whole way, so, so let it go. All right, count even at twos. All right, serve that knuckleball the other way. Count still two and two. He's now at 40 pitches, so really making him work. Ah. Swinging a ball there, a wiggle out of the inning. But made him work, made him work. Okay, so this is Storm Eagle, their center fielder. I don't think a strikeout of him is as important, but we'll, we'll kind of check, check the stats if we do strike him out. All right, we're gonna go split low and away. Kind of want to stay away from him, he is a good hitter. I'm gonna go one up and in heater right here. Try to sneak a strike in. Oof, okay. And now I'm gonna go down and in sync. He hasn't really seen that yet. Oh, completely hung that. Oh my gosh, all right. Oh, this team's gonna make us pay, guys. This team's gonna make us pay. Oof, okay. All right, so centipede. So centipede is someone we really want to strike out here. Um, so we just clobbered that pitch. Let's go inside heater. Oof, somehow sneak it by him. All right, now we're gonna really try to nibble here. Really try to nibble. There's a split outside. Let's go split low and away. Oh God, it's gonna catch too much plate. Ah, all right. Not a strikeout, but not a home run at least. Okay. 
All right, Armadillo. Armadillo is the next one. We really need to strike out here. Go ahead. <clears throat> go ahead in the count. 0 and 1. Let's go split low and away. All right, up, up in the count. 0 and 2. All right, I'm going to try one heater out of the zone, up and away. Oh, good pitch, good pitch. I'm going to try the same thing, up and away heater. Ah, caught way too much of the plate there. Harmless fly out, but still, really want the strike out here. All right, so this is one of the Reploids, the kind of additional filler characters here. Let's, don't know what position he's playing for them. Little grounder up the middle. Hopefully we'll get him. Fields fires, and we're out of the inning. All right, we give up another run there. Don't get any strikeouts, but not terrible all in all. <clears throat> all right, so Henry Bird from Great British Bake Off again is leading off top of the third against Crystal Snail. Oof, way ahead of that knuckleball. <clears throat> so down in the count, 0-1. Fouls off the knuckleball there. It was actually late on that one, recognized it, but sat on it a little too much. So two knuckleballs, I'm kind of expecting a heater here. Got a sinker, at least I touched it. It was early. <laughs> All right, so the count's still 0-2 to Henry. Oof. That knuckleball looked high the whole way. That's why I. Kind of just did a bailout swing at the end there, but fell it off. Count still 0-2. All right, good eye there. High heat. Henry's working some good at bats this game. That's the count one and two. Oh, recognize the knuckleball. Sat on it, but early. All right, so count still one and two here. Ah, oh, that's perfect. What a great, great read on that knuckleball. Slap it right up the middle. That's a nice hit. Okay. Let's get it rolling, Stitch. Let's get it rolling. Oof, good eye there on that outside heater. This is Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. He is our Disney character on the team. Ah, oh, that is a double play ball. Ah, oh, frustrating. But he's slow on it. Okay, I'll take it. Stitch has got some, got some speed too. All right, you begin our, our hero from the first inning with that three run shot. Ah, oh, gets under that one. Gotta be a harmless little fly out to center. Okay, Scizor is back up, our first baseman. He's got some pop against lefties. Oh, that was a good one to clobber. Early against that knuckleball. Good eye there, sinker down and in. So the count goes to one and one. Recognize the knuckleball there. I am actually going to send Stitch here. Get the runner in motion. Oh, oh my gosh. Great leaping play by Mega Man X there. Oh, that's a rob. I don't think we would have scored, but I might have sent the runner. I might have sent the runner. I might have tried to get a, a cheap little score there. Oh, nice play by Twin Mold there coming off the mound. Quickly one down in the inning. All right, so Bubble Crab is back up. Nope, the ball. Count one and oh. We struck him out already. I don't think he really factors in. I'm going to check real quick. I don't think he factors into the chain that I keep mentioning. Bubble Crab. Yeah, he's right here. So, yeah, um, 
I guess if we, yeah, no, he doesn't really factor into the chain at all because he's kind of far away. Um, but we'll we'll kind of come back to this again if it becomes relevant. But I don't think it's going to be relevant with him. <clears throat> all right, so we're headed or even in the count one and one. Now we're heading the count one and two. I'm going to go low and away split and sit down. Oof, doesn't chase there. I'm going to go low and away one more time and then go up and in with the heater if I need to. I'm going to go up and in, kind of inside plate. Nice. All right, hopefully just a little pop out to third. All right. So Spark Mandrel up. We want to try to keep him off base if we can. Um, because if he gets on base and we lose, we're going to lose Scizor this game. So striking him out again, unfortunately, doesn't really do anything. But it feels good. <laughs> we're out of the inning. All right, so we keep him off base. All right, Quincy Endicott, our hero from the first game that we played, the little uh, spring training teaser game. Quincy hit a three-run bomb in like the bottom of the 12th inning or something. It's such a slog of a game. All right, count out 0 and 1. That is decent contact there, just a little bit early. And a harmless fly out to center. <clears throat> All right, up next, we got Gold Dundee. He's one of our kind of Backup outfielders, okay hitter, okay outfielder. He's just like a okay player all around. Now down to the count, 0-1. Ah, recognize the knuckleball there. <laughs> but still early. So now way behind in the count, 0-2. Good eye there. Peter low and away, or just straight outside. Okay, so count now one and two. It's a gold Dundee. Let's see what we can do here. Oof, almost hit him there with that 100 mile an hour heater. So count now even at twos. Ah, recognize the heater too late. Thought it was going to be inside. And decided to try to bail on it the last one. Give it a chuck at the last minute. All right, Koopa Troopa. Ooh. I'm actually going to try a cheeky bunt here. I feel like I don't have anything to lose. <laughs> ah, okay. So now we got two strikes, so we'll just pray we get a some kind of meatball. Maybe we get hit. Sorry, Koopa. But you get hit, not the worst outcome for the team. Ah, all right. Swings and misses that knuckleball. All right. <clears throat> okay. So, heading into the bottom of the fourth. Twin Mold doing all right. Still doing work. Split low and away. Straight away. Nope. Gonna go sink low and away. And then after a bunch of low and away, is gonna try that one. Alright, struck him out, but he might make it to first. He's real slow. Good throw from Yugi in there. Alright, Twin Mold is rolling. He's doing alright. Alright, so Vile, very scary hitter. Strike outside. Let's go split down and in. All right, fouls it off. Now I'm going to go fastball up and away. Chased, strike three. All right. Let's continue the strikeouts here. All right, so Eagle with that home run earlier in the game. Swings through that sinker. Let's go heater low and away. Ooh, great pitch. I'm going to now go split down in the dirt, strike three. Ah, right up the middle. Tried to bait him into second, and he went, and now I paid. <laughs> okay, we really need a strikeout here. This would be huge. 
Oof, okay, foul ball. He was late on that, so let's try a heater. Let's try to squeak a heater by him. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, oof. All right, we get out of the inning. No strike out there. But at least we got out of the inning without any more runs. All right, Bunny Hood is up. Uh, I'm gonna swing the bat. If I get one strike, I might, I might try one bunt. Ah, dang it. All right, so ground out to second there for Bunny Hood. So Snails dialed it in a little bit. Now just 67 pitches, but we're st we've still made them work. A run this inning would be great. Kind of lift my confidence up. I want to have another. I want to have a two-run lead again. I feel like we've been sitting on this one-run lead for a couple innings now. Getting a little nervous. Oh, swings over the top of that changeup. So count now 0 and 2. Come on, Han. All right, recognize the knuckleball there. <clears throat> So count 0-2 to Han here, 70 pitches. Ah, good pitch there. I felt like I shouldn't have swung it as I was swinging, but then that still would have been a strike because it kind of flicked back into the inside corner there. All right, Henry. Good eye there, Peter up and away. So count now 1-0 and to our boy. Fell off the 99 mile an hour heater. So count even at ones. Let's see what we can do. Oh, really having a hard time with that changeup today. I feel like I'm calibrated to the heater and the knuckleball, but the changeup is awkward. Oof, okay, at least fouled it off there. All right, so count still one and two to Henry. Fouling off. Getting on it a little bit more, but it's just because he keeps throwing it. I feel like it's when it mixes with the heater and the knuckleballs, it's hard. Oof, okay. Fouled off the 98 mile an hour fastball. Another good at bat here by Henry. Good eye there, heater low and away. Count out even at twos. This is the eight pitch, eighth pitch of the at bat. Get foul, get foul. All right. <laughs> Not a lot of foul territory in this stadium. <laughs> All right, so here's the ninth pitch. Ah. Got the change up by me. That was a meatball, too. Ugh. Okay, strikeout. Come on, we need to strike out here. That is not a strikeout. That is going to be a single, hopefully. He is fast, but Bunny Hood got there quick. Oh, he's going to steal. All right, he's probably stealing. If not this pitch, I'm going to look. Yeah, he's stealing this pitch. Yeah, got him, got him. Oh. <sighs> oh, that is painful. That is very, very painful. Oh, my gosh. Okay. All right, so things are clenched. Things are now clenched. Okay. So we're now behind which is not the end of the world if we can keep Mandrill off base, but that is not a, that is a tall task. <sighs> All right, Mega Man X up here. Oof. And this team, this Mavericks team is really good. They're one of the toughest teams in our division. They're not the toughest as we'll learn, but they are, they are good. 
So losing to this team would not be that surprising. Good pitch there. Struck out Mega Man. All right, and Bubble Crab is going to harmlessly dink it out to first. Okay, here's Mandrill again. All right, there's strike one. We've had his number so far. Can we keep that up? Strike two. All right, got way ahead of him. Let's go sinker in the dirt. Oh, got too much of the plate there. Going to really try to push this splitter low and away. Oh my gosh, too much of the plate. Oh, I hate when that happens. Well, if we can throw him out at second here, that, that doesn't count. He's out. Oh, all right. All right, officially clenched. We got to win this game. Otherwise, we're going to lose Scizor. Which just at this point in the season would, would suck. We don't have a we don't have a good first baseman otherwise. All right, get out of the inning. But Mandrel got on base, so we need, we need the bats to wake up here. We need the bats to wake up. Come on, Stitch. Not a good start, not a good start. Come on, you have again. Let lightning strike twice. All right, good eye there, inside heater. So count now, one and oh. Oof, all right, fouls off the change up there. Count even at ones. Good eye there. Heater up and in. All right, so two and one count. Let's get a pitch. Let's drive it. Let's tie this game. Oh. That was the pitch. Oh, that was the pitch. Oh. <laughs> All right, Scizor, you're fighting for your life here, buddy. Mm, swings over the top of that changeup for strike one. I mean, Scizor is solid. It would suck to lose him. Ugh. All right, so the count now, even, or uh, even. We are way behind in the count. It's 0 and 2. So I thought I swung there, uh, but they called it a check swing. I don't know if my controller crapped out a little bit in that moment, but sucks nonetheless. All right, so now it's hopefully about limiting damage and ideally getting some more strikeouts in the chain. Because I still want to get Mandrill. That would that would be an incredible pickup for this early in the season. All right, Eagle is two for two. He has had our number all game. I think he struggled with the real low stuff, so I just gotta push it out of the zone. All right, hopefully just a ground out. Endicott is not great at second base though. Oh. All right, so centipede. We need a strikeout. We need we need a little bit of that morale boost here. Quickly down on the count, 0 and 2 or 2 and 0. Pops it up, but foul. Let's see. He was late on that pitch. So let's try another heater up and in. Uh, doesn't chase. Sinker low and away. Ah, uh, doesn't chase. Okay. Ah, oh, Dillo, another guy we need to strike out. Come on. All right, Twin Mold is starting to struggle a little bit here. Yeah, I got to get the pen up. I got to get the pen up. Gotta pause for a minute, collect my thoughts, get the pen up. 
All right, I think I'm gonna warm up Cobra Kai and Gibdo. I know Gibdo is my closer, but Gibdo is good. Oh, thank you for bailing me out there. All right, early on that, so let's try split low and away. It's a double play ball. There's one, there's two. He's real fast though, so we don't turn it. No strikeout. Come on, let's get out of the inning. Let's get out of the inning at least. All right. Way ahead of that. Let's try a high heater. Oh, good pitch. Good pitch. I'm going to try a high heater one more time. Another good pitch there. All right, let's go low and away split. Yes, okay. All right. We work out of the inning. Don't get any more strikeouts, though. Okay. I think this is the turning point inning. We got we to gotta get it here. I'm feeling like we got to get it here. All right. Good way to start. Peg and Quincy. Is he okay? All right. And they just brought in somebody, a real person, I think. Um, I just want to make sure I don't have any better against righty hitters. I don't think I do. No. My team sucks right now. <clears throat> okay. Let's go, Gold Dundee. Let's get one. Or let's hit into a... Uh... Okay. Thank God. Not a soul-crushing double play. <sighs> okay. Koopa Troopa. Oh, Koopas, you suck so much. Should I put in Mojo? Or Zergiak? I don't know why. I'm feeling Zergiak. I'm feeling Zergiak. I think he's going to do it. I think he's going to be the hero we need. Unlikely heroes. That's what this series is all about. Finding the unlikely heroes. And Zergiak... Zergiak is certainly an unlikely hero. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on, Zergiak. I believe, man. I believe. Oh, that was such a good pitch to hit. Oh, just a little bit early. He's antsy. He wants to be the hero so bad. Count 0 and 2 here. Oh, good eye, good eye. That was a great pitch to hit, too. Hang another slider. Come on, let me bang it. Oh, you're right on it, Zergi. You're right on it. A little bit late there. <clears throat> Good fight, good fight, good fight. Very early. Come on, Zergiak, I believe, I believe. Fighting it off, fighting it off. You got it, Zergiak, you got it. Uh, looks like about to play. Oh, safe, safe, safe. Yes! Oh, bobbles it a little bit. All right, Bunny Hood is up against the righty. Oh gosh, this is a tough situation to be in. I gotta swing. I gotta swing. Really can't bunt. Oh, he's so bad though. All right, I'm gonna try a bunt. One bunt. Oh, this is a tough situation to be in. It's Bunny Hood, I don't want to take him out of the game, but he's just such a bad hitter against righties. And I'm in a situation where I really can't bunt. Yeah. Oh, that stunk. Oh. All right, Han. We really need a hero here. We really need a hero here. Zirkiak did his job. Can Han Solo do his? All right, I believe, I believe. Let's go. Base hit, base hit. 
Pitch to hit. All right, fouls it off. Down to the count, 0-2. That's where we come from. Come on, let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a painful inning. Okay. Um, I'm going to let Twin Molds get, like, one runner on, and then I will probably pull him. One runner on, and then I'll probably pull him. Make a play, make the play, make the play. Nice, okay. All right, good pitch there, strike one. Split, oh, nice bunt, let it go foul, okay. Let's go, Peter inside, strike three. Missed up and away, fouled it off. All right, let's go split, down and in. Starting to really miss spots here. Um, so I think we're gonna pull him out of the game regardless after this inning. Hopefully with Mandrel retired. Oof, count two and zero. Oh. oh, yeah, Twin World's starting to miss his spots. Let's go split low and away. Oh, that's a good pitch. Fastball up and in. Way ahead of it. Let's go split low and away one more time. And we struck out. We've had his number most of the game. Struck him out three times. Oh. All right, they got a lefty coming in. Henry Bird is coming up. We need some some offense. Good eye there. All right, he's got some more some more pop in that in that arm. That's a 95 mile an hour sinker. All right, so 90, he's got sinker, mostly on speed, just that one slider. It's gonna be the one like off speed pitch. Oh, that felt pretty good just early on it. That also felt pretty good. A little bit late. Come on, Henry. Get through, get through, get through. All right, way to start us off. A little squeaker through the hole there for Henry Bird. We're moving, we are moving. Come on, Stitch, come on, Stitch. Oh, I felt good. I felt good, but it was super early. <laughs> Get a little jazzed. That also felt good, it was also probably super early. Yeah, I'm a little too pumped up here. Come on, Stitch, come on, Stitch. Good eye, good eye. Slider up and away. Right, staying alive, fell off that high heat. Come on, come on. All right, a little bit late on that slider. I'm trying to not just instantly react as much and actually see the pitches. Oh, that was good, that was good. Almost there, almost there. Come on. All right, good battle by Stitch here. Good battle by Stitch. This is the eighth, eighth pitch of the at bat. Inside, all right, good eye. Count now even at twos. Come on, Stitch. Ah, good pitch. Sinker right on the inside. Inside corner there. All right, Uvigin is up. So Uvigin is not as good against... He's good against lefties. Yeah, he wasn't as good against righties, but he's good against lefties. All right, let's go. Let's go. Two-run shot. Give us that lead. Give us that lead. Oh, my gosh. Super amped there. Way early. That's a double play. Uh, there is one, but they're, I don't know why they have Encarnacion or some, who the heck is it? <laughs> Shortstop. Oh, 
Oh, Scizor. Okay, man, this is kind of like for your life here. Extra base hit, come on. All right, good eye there. Count even at once. Oh, my gosh. Chase that slider low and away. Not looking good. Not looking good. All right, we gotta lock it down. Gotta lock it down. All right, so let's look. Um, I think I'm gonna put Gibdo in, because this is kind of a do or die situation. And Gibdo is good. Gibdo is good. He's like a solid kind of submarine type pitcher. a good arm angle he's got good, really good slider it's like just paint the bottom of the zone strikeout pitch Ooh, great play there by Quincy and the cut all right slider low and away let's go heater up and in all right come on you again get there 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 all right, two outs. All right, so here's the dream. We take the lead in the top of the ninth. We get our strikeouts. We get Mandrel. Go to bed. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, I really don't want to give up a meatball homer to Eagle, so kind of nibble in here. Give me a chance at centipede, maybe. Let's go slider inside. If he chases, he chases. If not, nice play there. All right. Here we go. We got to do it. And they bring in Dr. Light. I right know. He's their freaking closer. That's what makes this team so... Scary. You gotta get him early. This Dr. Light doesn't mess around. Right, good eye there. Count one and one. Come on, Quincy, we need you, man. Oh. A little bit late there, a little bit late. Good eye. Oof. Curve just misses outside. Oh, tried to swing at that. <laughs> All right, count three and two. Staying alive, staying alive. Really need a base runner here. Good take. Oh. All right, so we got Quincy on first. A little bit of speed in him. Oh, falling off. Gundy's an all right hitter here. All right, good eye there. Peter's up. So counting out even at once. Oh, gosh. Fortunately, he is terrible. Wherever they have a shortstop, that should have been a double play. Oh, Zerkiak. Come on, man. Your second chance to be the hero. Oh. Good timing, good timing. I believe, Zergi. I believe. Who knows, maybe you're going to start playing first base for us. I don't know if I don't know if we even have a first baseman if we lose Cesar here. Yeah, I don't I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know if anybody else can play first, maybe like Ludwig, but then we don't have a backup catcher. Come on, Zergi, two and one count. That's a home run count. Let's go, man. Let's go. Oh 
Okay, come on, come on. Two and two, Zergy. Let's go. I believe, man. I believe. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> All right. We are down to our final out here. Oh, and it's Bunny Hood. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. We're kind of screwed here. I don't think anybody is one of these pitchers randomly a good hitter. Let's let's just check real quick. I don't think any of them are good hitters. Nope. Okay. So we're putting in uh we're putting in Mojo Jojo here. Okay, power puff calls. Let's go, I believe. I believe in Zerg Yak. I believe in Mojo Jojo. That's, that's what we're going with. That's what we got to go with in this game. Oh my god. Okay. Deep breath, deep breath. Lucky call there. I believe, I believe, I believe. Oh, that was the pitch. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, oh, all right, send in the runner. Okay, well, double checking the rules here, but 95, 99% sure we lose. Scissor here. Target player gets hit, walks, gets on base, and we lose. We lose the equipment player. Yep. So we lose the first baseman, which is Scizor. Great start. Great start to the season. Great start. All right, so I'm just going to do that quick. I just want to see, do we have anyone else that can play first base? No. Oh, nice. Beta Direwolf. Okay. You're coming up, buddy. You're coming up to big leagues. Let's play backup. Okay, Neo Tiger can be backup first. All right. But yeah, we're going to get Scizor out of here. Where is Scizor? He's, uh, he's an 81. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. But it will make our team worse. Which, you know, do we need that? No. No, we don't need that. All right. So I think the way I'm going to do trades in this game is rather than like having him go to the Mavericks, I'm going to have him go back to the Pokemon team. That's how I'm going to do it this season. Uh, so we will take some useless player from them and we will give them our beloved Scizor. And we will send the trade. All right, so that is going to do it for the stream tonight. I was saying it's just one quick game. Wanted to get something up here that has better, less choppy stream settings to just show that it's possible. <laughs> um, but thanks for joining me tonight. And yeah, we'll do another one soon. Um, even if it's just one game, we'll get another one in here soon. But take care, everybody.